Hello everybody and welcome to 25 days of DAX Fridays. This is for day 12. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, just go down below, check all the details and get started. It's never too late, okay? So, if you want to know how I did it or you're stuck on day 12, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to do this the same way as we've been doing, first without DAX, then with DAX. Now, the question was, how many new customers do we have in current year? For me, it's going to be 2021. For you, it's going to be something else. Okay, so if you're doing it next year, it will be 2022. Be careful about that. So how many new customers do we have in 2021? Another way of saying this is how many customers have their purchase date, first purchase date, this year, okay? And that's what we're going to use in order to create the no DAX calculation, even the DAX calculation too. So we are going to, how many customers, customers from the order table, we're going to filter the order table. So how many customers have the order date, first order date, so we put order date, the first order date. So we go here and we grab the earliest. Okay, so that's the first order date for the table. Has it this year? So this year we go here and we do is on or after the 1st of January. Again, if you're doing it next year, then you have to do 1st of January 2022 uh, if you want to compare the results, right? Because you would like update. Apply filter. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven customers, right? Good. So now we know what result we should get. So now we're going to do it with DAX. And there is a million and a half ways to do this. Also, especially depending on what you're trying to count, right? I am going to reproduce the thing that I did in Excel, but with DAX. But there are obviously a million other ways to do it. Just do a Google search and you will see. So... We want to have this table and then do the count. <laughs> We've been doing it all along. It's a very like straightforward method, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do, let's go to our measure table where I'm just dumping in all the measures. So day 12, day 12. The first thing I want to calculate is what is, every time that you're doing to, going to do DAX, you want to separate the problem into pieces and incrementally add the difficulty to it. So the first thing that we want to solve is what is the earliest date of purchase for each customer? There is a DAX function called first, first non-blank value that returns the first non-blank value of the expression that is evaluated for the column. I know, I have a DAX Fridays that explains that beautifully. Go and check it out, okay? But this is for the column, first non-blind value, for the column order customer ID, what is the earliest order date? Okay, and now I'm going to go here to customer ID um, to the table orders customer ID and I'm going to dump my newly created measure day 12 there you go so here we have you know the earliest date the same thing that we did before with earliest in the act we have it here and here are our seven customers but we need to count them right so how do we count this thing would you we just created first we need to have you know if you do calculate this thing count bigger than you're going to get into trouble we already don't know this by doing all these 25 days of tax it will give you the the wrong run total so we're going to try to do it correctly from the start so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to move to a table because we're going to create a table go to table tools new table and our new table is going to be a summarized table of order customer ID because we want to recreate the table that we had, right? Orders customer ID. 
get it from the other table, customer ID. And then we're going to do the first day. First date is, right, the expression that we had. And let's stop there for a second. So now we have the first date table that we had. The next thing that we need to do is to filter this table that we just created, the one that you see in there, where the first date is bigger than the 1st of January. So first we're going to create the 1st of January. So we're going to create a variable which is first <laughs> January 1st. Okay, naming variables is always a fun thing. Okay, date. You can do 1st of January in many ways, but let's do it this way so you understand. So today's date was the year. So today's date for me is the 29th of November. So the year is 2021. So the year is 2021. And then day one, month one, return. Now we're going to filter this table. We're going to filter the table this that you see there where the first date, you see this column that I'm putting here is this one there, don't get fooled, is bigger than January 1st, January 1st. And then we have our smaller table. Now we need to count it so I can put it on a card. You might not need to do that, hey, right? maybe this is enough for you. I need to put it in a card. So I need to count this thing. So I'm going to copy these. Go there, 12, paste there, and this one, I want to count the rows. That's all you need to do. Ah. It's just like Power Query sometimes, it just comes up with stuff. And, and we're going to get rid of these. <laughs> and there you have it. Seven, seven new customers, ladies and gentlemen. So that's one way to calculate it. Again, there's like a million and a half ways. So ladies and gentlemen, are you enjoying this? How did you solve it? I know there's a million ways to do it. So please let us know down below with your DAX. How many do you have right so far? I will see you again tomorrow with day 13. We're continuing with doing stuff with customers. So see you tomorrow. Bye.